When a fixture with an air balancer is shipped to the customer's facility, the excess chain is contained in a small bag tied near the attachment point. The installers will need to cut this chain to the appropriate length for their application. The station layout should be referred to when determining the cut point. Ensure that the balancer is pressurized and that the ball indicator is in the full up position. The ball stop is a visual indicator only and should not be moved. The first step in determining where to cut the chain for your application is to take a simple measurement. In this example, consider the floor to be the pickup point. Consider the top of the red table to be the highest obstruction point. This is the point that the part needs to clear in order to be dropped off at its final destination. Take a measurement from the pickup point to the obstruction point. Then take a measurement from the pickup point to the hook attachment point. For instructions on attaching chain to the balancer hook, see the video linked here. Once these two measurements have been recorded, the sum of them will be where the chain should be cut. Double check your work and make a mark or indication on the chain before cutting. With an SDS balancer, the safety chain should be cut two lengths longer than the load chain. Once the chain has been cut and the hook or shackle attached, the balancer is ready for use. For more information, visit our website at nightglobal.com.